What's up guys? Amongst everybody else, I myself have been wondering how we can get some cheap glass for our printed beds or to replace other things we accidentally break. So I figured out a way we can get this stuff pretty cheap and pretty easily and it's a lot easier than you would actually believe. All you need really, other than what you're normally gonna have around the house, is a glass cutter. Um, this one's a fairly nice one. I was lucky enough this was given to me. This is a beautiful number. Pretty lucky to have it. You can pick them up extremely cheap. They range from a few dollars right up to a few hundred dollars. So it just depends on how much glass cutting you think you're going to be doing. It's probably worth investing a little bit of money. This is a Toyo uh, TC number one. I think these are pretty old. There's, there's newer versions now on uh, Amazon. A quick search told me this is actually a fairly decent one. I think the new versions of this retail for about 70 uh, dollars. But the difference there between the different uh, styles, this is a carbide rolling wheel. Uh, your cheap ones are going to be steel, so it basically means they're not going to last as long uh, in, in the roller. They're going to blunt a lot quicker and potentially you're not going to get the same level, same quality of cut out of it. So one thing you do need to bear in mind is safety. Safety is dead important. Uh, make sure you're wearing glasses to prevent any shards getting in your eyes and potentially make sure you're wearing gloves so you don't get any glass fibers in your hands if, if, if you're probably gonna be worried about that. So the first thing we're gonna do before anything else is obviously mark and measure where we're gonna be cutting. Now my bed there is 220, so I'm gonna go right down to 220. Using a black mat here, so I've got a silver marker. Up to you, however it's gonna work out for you. 220 there. Do the same down this end here. 220. Very nice. Cool. So I've gone and dug out these dirty old glasses that I've used for safety. Safety first. Got our glasses on. We're going to take our trusty glass cutter there. What we're going to do is we're going to hold it like so. To be honest, there are no strict rules here, but basically that roller needs to make direct contact with the glass on a straight down angle. So you can't hold your cutter on too much of an angle. You need to really make sure that that roller is making direct contact with the glass. Decent pressure to our straight edge. On our cutter, there is a, a, a bit of an edge between where your, your roller is and where the edge of the, the cutter is. So you need to account for that when you're lining up your straight edge. So, I found about a mil and a half works. Now once you've got that fairly confidently lined up, we're not trying to reef it in half here. And we're just gonna run our roller straight across our piece of glass. Now, that was a terrible effort there. So let's go back over and let's fix that. There we go, that's better. Now all we need to do is line him up with the edge of the table. I've got my felt liner here, just to act as a little bit of a protectant. Short, sharp snap, bang, done. Now you will notice that because I was focusing too much on talking for the video and not what I was doing, I didn't I did not do a particularly great job lining this up here. Not the end of the world. Bang. Done. Beautiful. Now that's a nailed cut, guys. We're very happy with that. So, practice makes perfect. We will get there in the end, I believe. Uh, but that's one way of getting your glass at least cheaper. So that's something to bear in mind, guys. Best of luck. I hope you guys have success with it. And if you do, please bear in mind, the old like does go a long way. So guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next video. In the meantime, happy printing, happy glass cutting. Go and fix any broken windows that you might have accidentally broken. And until next time, guys, peace out. Later.